welcome back to another interview here on Toned In Entertainment today. We are at Ignite Wrestling in Vero Beach, and I'm joined by none other than Mr. Everything, Victor Andrews. And thank you, thank you. And we got right here, Superstar Rome. Yeah, how y'all doing? Yeah, I know this carnival is going on, but we have to save the city. What are we <laughs> saving the city from? COVID. Oh, that's very important. Yeah, yeah, that's, I didn't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the only thing that that wrestler is in the ring with has to be the other wrestler for the championship. Oh, Victor, you've got quite the talking piece here. <laughs> yes, yes, this is my mouthpiece. Whenever I don't know what to say, he says everything. <laughs> yeah, I think I might just hand the mic over to him and let him do the whole interview. <laughs> So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. How are you doing? You got a big I'm, match here with Storm Thomas? Yes, yes I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's actually, um, it's actually not Storm Thomas. Oh, it's not? No. I think you're wrestling Storm Thomas today. No, today is going to be uh, Leon the Terrible. Oh, the that's right. You're going the for the title tonight, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. That's right. That's yes, right. Yes. There's so, so many matches here, it's hard to keep up sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know. It's, it's exciting. I haven't been to Invite and Ignite in like five years okay. since they first started. So I'm very excited. We drove nine hours to get here from North Carolina. Um, Superstar Rome has been, you know, with me every step of the way. So we, we plan to walk out of here with the title tonight. And Mr. Everything. <laughs> And Mr. Everything is actually everything. Because if you want to come down here to this to this rest related place, you can. But all the fans out there trying to see what the match is to be a W to be a superstar. <laughs> Plain and simple. I don't even have to ask you any questions. You've got all the answers here. <laughs> now, how proud of your dad how proud of you are of your dad being a wrestler? Very proud. He been working out with his homies, and I like that. And he keeps up the good work. <laughs> now, when you're working out, what type of music are you listening to? I listen to everything, man. Whatever can keep my energy going, my energy doesn't deplete. I do workouts. My my workouts are very intense. I have a 2,000 rep workout that I do. Um, I'm getting ready to do a two mile run in the ring. I'm going to attempt to run two miles, which will cost uh, 600 back and forth rope run, rope runs. So I'm going to attempt to do that, but my energy doesn't stop. Are you going to get dizzy doing that? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, my God. I think I'm actually working up a sweat right now. <laughs> doing that work. Hey, Victor Andrews, he cannot, um, he cannot, um, he can wrestle, but he is a stupa star. But Victor Andrews doesn't drink water. So if, if he drinks uh, things that's allergic to him, he, he, he won't drink it anymore. But like I was saying, this wrestling place is not available for fans to watch the wrestling match. Because if they do, Victor Andrews is gonna Victor Andrews and Superstar Rome is gonna come to to North Carolina and see this wrestling matches that they ever seen before. Dynasty was in the building. <laughs> Superstar Rome, you cut better promos than a lot of the wrestlers I've ever talked to. Yes, yes, yes I do a lot of things to my body now. now. I, I think I just may, might nearly leave. And I know. I'm just going to talk to him. Have, let him have the interview by himself. <laughs> Superstar Rome just taking over here. We're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, what were some of the things that got you interested in becoming a professional wrestler? Oh, man, I grew up watching it. Uh, my mom used to make it a big event. We didn't have a lot of money, so she would make a big event out of it. We watched all the pay-per-views. Um, and then I started off as a boxer and then did MMA. And that wasn't working out well because I wasn't getting into fights. Because I was fighting guys that was twice my size and I was pushing them around. So I got into professional wrestling because it only makes sense to push, guy, push around guys twice your size and, and not have to worry about nobody wanting to fight you anymore because you're pushing around 200, 300 pound guys. So I've been doing it for 12 years now. I've been training under C.W. Anderson. I started out in New Jersey under Lady Lee, so I've been pushing it. Uh, I've had a lot of opportunities with WWE, uh, Ring of Honor, Impact. So I'm hoping that whatever comes next, I'm ready for it. Yeah, I have seen you on NXT, uh -huh. right? 
Uh, and you've been in like WWE as yeah. well. How have those experiences been? Oh, amazing, bro! Amazing. When I did NXT, it was my first opportunity with WWE. Uh, everybody was very welcoming. The whole locker room, the staff, everybody was amazing. Like even down to the referees trying to rip me in the ring. It was an amazing experience. Uh, then I did Monday Night Raw. I was one of the Lashley sisters. Yes, I. Which is one of the crazy experiences I ever had. <laughs> but I got paid for it, so that, that doesn't matter. I got paid to look like a girl, and I got to beat up Bobby Lashley for a little while until he beat me up again. Uh, so, I can, how many people can say they actually got a hit off of Bobby Lashley? So, not many. They survived. Yes. I'm still alive. Yes. <laughs> can I ask you a question? As somebody who's been there, in there with Bobby Lashley, how massive is that dude? My goodness, <laughs> brother. That dude is huge. I'm talking to like me and you standing next to each other. That's the size of Bobby Lashley. Yeah, that that big. Yeah. And when when he picked me up and slammed me, I was like, No, nah, I don't need my guts. <laughs> no, I don't need I don't need, I don't need my back. None of that. None of that. I'm just going to just roll out and just worry my way back to the locker room. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're still in one piece after yes, that. Yes, yes. I don't definitely. think many people would be. I I personally would it be. Hey, thank God for the workouts that I do. <laughs> yes, exactly. See, that, that workouts are paying off. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, 2020 was quite the year. We're here in 2021. Mm -hmm. This is Ignite's first fully packed wrestling show mm -hmm. since the pandemic started. Mm -hmm. Now, over 2020, we didn't get to do a lot of things. Are there things that, you know, now that things are back, opening back up that you're excited to do either by yourself or with your little guy here? Just being able to just do this, just be able to travel with him. You know, we, we can't really go anywhere. You know, got to wear a mask everywhere you go. You can't really touch anything. You can't be around people. So being able to take him out, enjoy things and let him be a kid again. Like, I feel like 2020 took away his, his childhood because you can't go and, and have experiences with his friends, can't go to playgrounds, things like that. So now that everything's starting to open back up, everybody's starting to feel better, everybody's getting healed and, you know, getting their vaccines, whether you want to or not, um, it's good because now the, the world is starting to open back up. After we finish with the show, depending on how I feel, we're going to go to the beach. We're going to lay down and relax go and, and have fun. Go to the beach, whatever the beach is, we can go to. Now, North Carolina <laughs> is not what you think it is. So we're going to get this match started. And me and Victor Andrews is Dynasty Tag Team. And like I was saying, I swear, this kid can cut a promo on anything. For real? I was, I was talking about the beach. The beach. Yeah. She's cutting a promo on North Carolina all together. <laughs> you are one talented young man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think I think so a lot. So we're just going to get this match started and, and enjoy the show with the fans. I'll tell you what, Steve Harvey, if you're watching this with the kids saying the darnest things, right. uh, there's your next actor, there's your next star yeah. right there. Steve Harvey, you can contact me. Look at this. How old are you, young man? Man. I'm five years old and I'm a, and I'm a wrestler. <laughs> five years old, and you're cutting promos like a 30 year old. So I can if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna stop you. <laughs> He's oh, excited. He's yeah. excited. I'm very excited. Very excited, cause cause your dad's gonna take home the Ignite Heavyweight Title tonight. It's actually the undisputed yeah. championship. The undisputed championship. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take home the undisputed championship. I heard about Leon. He's a big guy. He's a strong guy. The thing with big people and strong people, they don't have a lot of energy. They don't have a lot of stamina. I have an infinite stamina, infinite energy. So if he does not knock me out in the first 30 seconds of this match, it's a wrap for him. Okay, because I've had Leon on the channel already. Uh -huh. And he's a big, strong, tough dude. Yeah. So you do have your work cut out from you. I do. And I'm I do. definitely excited. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we see somebody in the background right now. I think he's getting ready back there now. I see him. I see him. We see him. We see him. We see him. He's, he's bigger than what I expected. Uh huh. Yeah, he's that a big dude. He's a tough dude. That means he's a whole lot more speed. Yeah, but he's a gentle giant, too. He's a we'll see. Giant. We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. And I need to say something to him. Talk to, talk Le to Leon right there. We're, we're, look at that camera and talk to Leon. Leon, if you want to be my daddy, you can. Because he's a super sin. And, and Tad Teams is in the building because the one and only Victor Andrews and Stupid Star Rome is coming back to Dynasty Tad Team and with North Carolina. I would just and, say, and look out. And then, and then he walks away. Just, just He's mic, done. Look, mic drop. Mic drop. He's mic drop. <laughs> oh, my God. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> how do you keep up with him on a regular basis? He's got a lot of energy. Do you, you see why I have a lot of energy? You have to, I right? Need it. Yeah. <laughs> Victor, is there anything else we should know about you so I can get 
so you can get ready for that big match tonight. Uh, just be ready to see me walk out with the title tonight. That's all you got to know. I'm excited. Main event here tonight. Yes. Undisputed title. Ignite Wrestling. Yes. Loving it. Can't wait. Victor, where can people look you up at? Uh, the easiest way to get to me is go to my website, www.dvictorandrews.com. That's www.thevictorandrews.com. And you can find all my social media there. There you go. Real easy. Yes. All right, Victor, thank you so much thank for you. joining me. So let's get this match started. Ladies and gentlemen, Superstar Rome and Victor Andrews is coming to town. Superstar Rome, Victor Andrews have come there's, to town. There's no way to end that. There isn't. There's no way. Just, that's it. That's it. That's so it. we're that's just going to say goodbye. And uh, guys, if you like interviews like this, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.